friends, today I thought I would do a weekly wrap up and I don't normally do these, I normally just wait till the end of the month and then I talk about the whole month and I thought this would be fun to do. Um, I've seen quite a, a few other booktubers do this like every now and then wrap up if they had a really good reading week or something. I know Astrid the bookworm, I've seen her do this a few times. Uh, so I thought it'd be fun but um, I finished one book this week and then I started a children's book I'm still reading and I'm about to start another book. So I shall show you them. So the book that I finished is Blood Promise by Rochelle Mead. This is the fourth book in the Vampire Academy series. I am just flying through this series. I, it's weird because, okay, the first three books were five stars and I rated this one a five star as well, but it was actually more like a 4.5 star. I don't know what it was about it, but it was just different. I felt like it had a different vibe than the first one. It's nice because the main character is really maturing and you can see that in this book compared to like the first book. But if you look at the first three books, I'm not going to spoil, spoil you, don't worry. If you look at the first three books though, there's, if you look at like the beginning of the story to the end of the story, something big happened. Characters have changed and things have changed. Big things happen in the plot. I feel like in this book, Rose started out like on a mission. I don't know. I just, I felt like what she, nothing happened, really. I mean, things happened, but I feel like if you compare like the beginning to the end, like where did she really go? Like what was achieved, I guess, from this story? Not that this wasn't important. And it's not that it wasn't a good book because I really, I enjoyed reading it. I loved, I'm loving this series. I just, I was kind of, I don't know. I think I'm just still upset by the end of the third book and I'm just taking it out on this book because I'm, still has it just still the problem still hasn't been fixed you can tell it's hard to talk about books when you don't want to spoil it because I can't talk about it so just know that I'm loving the series if you have not read the series yet I recommend checking them out the movie um, of the first one comes out next month and yes I'm just I'm loving the series I'm just I'm at that point in the series if you've read it you know what point I'm talking about and you're just angry I'm so angry. Oh. So after that, I started a book that I got sent uh, by NetGalley. It's an advanced copy. It is called Ophelia and the Marvelous Boy by Karen Foxley. And this is a children's story. And I was sent this by NetGalley, like I said. And um, yeah, it's pretty good. It's really, I don't know, when I, when I requested it, I thought I was in the mood for a children's story. And uh, now I'm reading it, and I don't really know if I'm in the mood for it. But now I feel like I have to read it because it's getting published at the end of this month, I think on January 28th. And I said that I would read and review it, so that's what I'm going to do. But um, yeah, I'm like halfway through it. It's not a big book. It's a children's story. It's just okay. I guess nothing extraordinary, I guess. I don't dislike it. I don't really love it. It's just okay. If there's just this evil queen that basically needs to de be defeated and no one can defeat her besides this one boy that these wizards chose and he has this like charm on him so the wizard can't hurt him or the wizard I mean the the evil queen the snow queen she can't really lay a hand on him but she ends up capturing him and putting him in this like basically like a prison and so he's locked up and he's not aging or anything he looks the same and Ophelia ends up finding him all these years later and he's trying she's trying to like help him escape so he can basically defeat the queen and that's pretty much just what the whole book's about um it's kind of cool because it takes place in a museum Ophelia keeps like running into these just weird things um like there'll be a whole room dedicated to clocks and it's just all clocks and then like a whole room dedicated to teaspoons and it's just like a whole bunch of them. At this point I'd rate it like three of five stars. I'm not finished yet though so that's not my rating. Don't, Goodreads, don't take that yet. I, I'm still reading it. And so that is what I will continue to read and just I'll make sure that it's just I'm finished by January 28th. So I might take a little short break because I really want to read Spirit Bound which is the fifth book in the series and don't look at this awkward cover. It feels like people um <laughs> In my last video, I was talking about this cover and since then so many people have commented how they hate these covers and how they feel like they can't go out in public. So many of you have told me your hilarious stories about people asking like, are you reading vampire porn or what is this? Um, so yeah, it looks pretty bad. But anyways, I gotta find out what happens. 
I'm pretty stressed out. And so I'm gonna read this one, and then of course I'll finish the series uh, by reading Last Sacrifice, which is book six. So that is what I have read this week, and that's what I plan on reading. I'll read this tonight and tomorrow, definitely, um, since it's the weekend I'll have um, quite a bit of time. So let me know what you have read this week, maybe what you're currently reading, and I will see you later. Bye.